Hello and welcome! This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Prison Architect returning to the Fortress. And I realized in between videos that the way the pathing was is that the central point would be this courtyard here in the middle. And considering that this is going to be the yard, I don't know if I really want that to be the case. So I think I'm going to have to do a little bit of replanning here. We might as well start things up while I work on this. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this cell block for the time being. As I have a, another plan for that. So what I'm going to do is instead have a pathway that goes around the courtyard. And the idea here is I'll lock off the courtyard and only use it for the yard. And then we'll use this circuit around it as the main way of getting around the prison. At least that's the idea. And by doing that adjustment, I should actually make the cell block line up better. Uh, you know what, it probably would have been easier if I had drawn out the cells for this first initial area so that we know where the lines are going to be. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So then we want two down and continue. All right, might as well start drawing the walls so I don't get confused here. All right. I also want to hook up the power again, so we just want it to be one over right there, and then I guess we can go ahead and dismantle that. Well, you know what? It doesn't probably matter if that's there or not. If we expand over to this side, maybe it'll be okay to have that little bit of wire. It doesn't really matter either way. Okay, let's go back to the planning here. And walls. So this cell block should fill the space perfectly. It looks like the other set of the foundation is getting done here. Okay, and there's the power. Well, technically this works, but the one thing I'm realizing is... There's no pathway to get to this bit. Hmm. So I might actually have to move this back down. Because this... If I were to draw this out, so this would be a pathway, this would be a pathway, this would be a pathway. And then the cell blocks would be here. But the problem is this isn't really going to work. Now I had moved this path up one. I might actually want to bring it down to so that we can fill the other bit in. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. We'll just get rid of this. I think this will line it up. Let me just double check here. So if I do this... And I finish this off. Okay, so we're going to need it one more down. All right, that's fine. All right, and I think at this point we probably need to pause it because I don't think the workforce is really doing anything. Although, on the, hand, on the other hand, they're not costing me any money, so I guess it doesn't really particularly matter. All right, so... And this is kind of a waste of space, though. I, uh, I don't know if I like this. What I could do is just make this a path and make this a set of cells. I mean, I know it doesn't really work with what we have going on up here. And then this is the main pathway that goes out this way. Hmm. 
Hmm. I mean, ideally, we'd want it to be down here, but then I'm really starting to push these out, you know? Alternatively, I really don't like the idea of the cells op opening out to a main pathway, because this could be the main pathway here that goes across, but I don't like the idea that the cells would open out to that. You know, I just don't like the look of that. I think I'm just going to go with this route. I, d I know it's not as efficient, but it is what it is. And it will work. This could be a more efficient use of space, you know, theoretically. And then we'll go ahead, cut all the doorways. And there we have our first cell block planned out. And I think it's time oop, that I start routing utilities in here. There we go. So we have power. All right, so first things first, let's get the capacitors. And... Put a few this way as well. And then all I should need is just one like that, right? Okay, while they're working on that. I guess I might as well get the, the power conduit here too. And I'll just go like this for that, for now. Okay. Now the next thing I'd like to plan out is we need some kind of shower. And it probably needs to be fairly large. I could put it here. I could put it over here. Honestly, this space here might be perfect for it. So we just maybe even cut out this section and put the shower here. Or we just cut out an area here and we put the shower in here. As a matter of fact, I could just make this one big shower and put some uh, cutouts in it to allow prisoners to come in from multiple angles. And that might be not be a bad idea to have like a centralized shower like that. It could result in violence, but uh, we'll have to see. So... As far as the planning goes, I'll just do that. As we already know that this space here will work for another cell block if we desire. And then, let's say, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Across. And one, two, three, four. And... Cross. So those would be the entrances to the shower. And honestly, there's nothing else to plan out there. I, I guess I could see if this would be efficient use of space just by doing that. Eh, technically, it's not, but I can get an idea of what how efficient the space is just by doing this. Alright, that's not too bad. There's a little bit of wasted space, but it's not too bad. Okay, so... At this point, I don't really see a reason why not... ...to... ...start some of the walls here. But I also want to think about the canteen slash kitchen, so... Okay. If these are our cell blocks, we've got one, two, three, 
four. And then maybe I have another shower area up here. Where would I want to put the canteen? It could be in a centralized area up here. That would mean all the cell blocks down here would have to move up here. I could have two canteens, one here and one down here. Now, right now, I'm working on the south. You know, speaking of which, I have that power conduit coming through the middle. Ugh, that was probably not the best idea, but it's all right. I think we'll keep development going on in the south. And I could make the canteen and kitchen down here for the south wing, and then we'd have another one up here. Possibly. And then I don't know if these would be good efficient spaces for more cell blocks, although I would prefer not to have them on the outer edge. I've already mentioned that. Out of curiosity, how many prisoners can this hold? So there's four per cell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we've got another eight. So 16, so that's 24. And then another... All right, so 28 times 4. Okay, so that's not too bad for one cell block. All right, so canteen. I'll just draw it out, and then we'll see what would be efficient here. Oh, I didn't want to do that. And part of this could be the kitchen, too. Not maybe all of this will be uh, canteen, although technically this could be a kitchen over here, although that's quite a big space for a kitchen. All right, so if this were a canteen, let's focus on the objects. So tables are, I believe, four long. Yeah, it looks like that. And then serving tables are five long if I remember correctly yes that is the case so five and four is what we got to work with so coming into the planning here start with okay let's assume we want an entrance but we probably don't want it to be in the same area as the shower so let's say we bring it over a little bit like that and then over here, you put it like that. Okay, so let's assume this is all just going to be a canteen. Not exactly sure where I'm going to put the serving tables, but one option is up there. The other option is, as long as this is multiples of five, this will work. Okay, we've got 25. And then in theory... I could put, like, a door here to the kitchen, and then maybe have a couple trash cans here. So that could work for the serving tables. And then we want to think about the, the tables themselves. So there are four long, but we are going to need to account for the benches. So it looks something like this. And then we just kind of leave this area dead. And I can use that area for other things. Now, ideally, we actually want to kind of keep things away from the entrances. So I might want to move the entrances, depending on how this looks, actually. Matter of fact, now that I think about it, probably want to give more space to the serving tables. Keep people from getting too cramped in there. And I might also want to do another row down this way, and then we'll just put trash cans down here to fill that out. Let's say I do something like this, and then we make a pathway here so that 
Maybe that would be where the door is. And then we just go across. And I want to see kind of how this looks. So if I go two over, I don't know if we're going to get perfect symmetry here because I don't know if this is odd or even. We'll just see how it looks for now. See what we can fit in there. And if uh comes down to it, I can have a third entrance for people to come in and out. And that will take care of issues, I think. It looks like that's perfect. So we're going to have a massive canteen here. But in the end, I think it will work out. And this might be good enough for the entire prison. I haven't really calculated out how many prisoners this would serve. But I would imagine quite a lot, honestly. Now, whether this is a wise idea to have a canteen all in one central place, I'm not exactly sure. But if we were to match up the doors to go along with what we've done, we would want the doors to be cut out here and here. And that's how it looks for now. And then, theoretically, we could have a kitchen here. And then this could be something else. I know I have serving tables over here, but that's fine. Okay, I'm liking the look of that. And then we have the kitchen. Now, as far as the kitchen goes, I think most everything outside of the sink is too long. Let's see if I'm correct with that. Sink is three long, I believe. And that does look like it is indeed the case. And then we we'll see cooker. Oop, not scooker. Cooker. We've got two. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then the fridge is also going to be two. Okay. So with that in mind, go to planning here. Let's just see kind of what space we have to work with. So that would be a multiple of three there. Okay, so we're going to have, yeah, it will work, I think. I mean, I'll be able to manage the space either way we look at it. So of all the things that we need for uh, the next grant, Outside of a holding cell, which is easy enough to do, we've got a holding cell, shower, yard, kitchen, canteen. So we're already working on some of these things. Hire at least two guards, hire at least two cooks. Some of these things I'm going to kind of hold off on. But if I get one cell block up and running, I figure we might as well start taking things in. So let's see what uh, kind of money we have to work with here by... Finishing off parts of the cell block here. I'm only going to do this little bit at first. And then I'll go down here. And just wall off at least the bit for the canteen. Alright, so presumably I'm going to put some kind of door here. So, let's just assume the door... Well, actually, the door would probably be better here, in my mind. And we know we're going to need a shower, so... Might as well wall that off, too. I'm just being wary here of my cost, you know, spending here, because uh, 
we've blown the biggest um, amount of uh you know the budget we're going to need just by putting the foundation in so that's the main concern here the rest is just finishing things off and i'm not really sure how much money we're going to have to do that but at the very minimum i'll get one cell block running before we run out of money I think we can afford finish off a little bit more of this. And for the canteen, I know I have a lot of space queued there, but we don't necessarily have to finish it off in its entirety. Same with the kitchen. And I'm, I guess I might as well wall off the kitchen here. So I'm going to plan for another entranceway. All right, so we've got... That and that. So let's see these. say these are doors. And I want another way into the kitchen. So that, that's why I've planned it that way. I might as well go ahead and wall off the kitchen area. Okay. So that much is done. Now, for the holding cell, it has to be a certain size, I would imagine, 5x5, five five, which this would not be legal. What I could do is... This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2... Yeah, this would be a 5x5. Five five. I could wall off a little area here. I know I'm going to need a toilet in here anyway, so it's not a big deal. So why don't I do that? And I could very quickly get a holding cell. So we're just going to make it... In the middle kind of nowhere here. And I'll need to just complete some of the walls. And then we'll put a toilet in the middle. And then we'll just put a bench somewhere. It doesn't really matter where. And that will work to uh, finish the holding cell. And then we'll just remove it. I don't think we need a holding cell. We're going to have actual cell blocks ready to go. Alright, I guess I might as well start working on the canteen. Because it's more or less finished. Except, you know, I should probably route what wiring I know I'm going to need. So this I know I'm going to need. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that down here. Bring it on over here. And then we'll just bring that down like that. And then this over here and down like that. Okay. I think that should take care of things. And then we'll need to probably route into the cell blocks themselves. Oh, I missed some walls, it looks like. And the other thing is I'm going to need these jail doors anyway, so there's no real waste of money here at all with the way I'm going to be building things. I guess we might as well speed things up to get things moved along, and then we need the... Uh, tables here. So, first tables. And I'm only going to focus on the ones over on the right here. For now. There's no reason to overdo things. There's the power routed in. I'm going to also need water routed in here eventually. Alright, that should do for the canteen for now. Alright, utilities. Go ahead and route power down this way. That might be good enough. And then do the same to about there. All right, now the kitchen. So, I think sinks are going to definitely go in the back here. Oh, sinks are only $20. That's not too bad. You know what? Let me redo that. I want to kind of figure out a midpoint here. So, we've got 
four sinks there. Um, let me see what that gets me. All right, so it's not going to be perfect, but I could kind of make a mid path down here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So there's kind of like a rough mid path down the middle here. The only thing with that thinking is... Hmm. I don't think there's a way I'm going to be able to do it efficiently, to be honest with you. So we'll just do it like this. Okay. And then... We need... That was probably overkill on sinks, but that's okay. And we'll do cookers. Okay, and we'll put them... Alright, you know what? I am going to actually draw this out a little bit, because... Now I'm not sure with what room I have to work with. So, let's see. If I do this, and I do that, do that, do that, do that. I mean, I guess that could work like that. Alternatively, I could make it more cramped. And I could do this. And theoretically, that would work. I kind of like the more open design. Better. Not as efficient of use of space, I guess, but... Yeah, I'll do that. And I think what I'm going to do is plan out the sinks. We're going to need a few more here. And then we'll do this. And then here... I'm going to do something like... So this is kind of the plan for now. As I said, it's going to be kind of tough to do this perfectly because the fact that you've got the sinks being three long and the cookers and fridges being too long, but it'll be fine. All right, so that's kind of the plan for the kitchen. And let's get some cookers down here. So these are going to be the sinks. And I think the layout I'm going to do is I'm going to do cookers on this side. And fridges. Oops. Wasn't paying attention there. I'm going to have to uninstall all these. I'll wait for them to come back so that I don't waste money here. There we go. Okay. And we need utilities. For the water. I'm going to do it like this, because I'm going to need to route water down this way anyway. Then we'll do small pipes to hook up the sinks. I'm probably going to need... Uh, ...sprinklers in here anyway to prevent fires. 
And then utilities. We'll just bring this on down like that. And then that like that. And that should be all hooked up. And I think that's a good point to put a cut in the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner signing out.